Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. We are here tonight with our new guest, Tyler Cole, who plays Hayley on the brand new Hallmark Movies and Mysteries Christmas movie, Long Lost Christmas. Welcome Tyler and thank you for being here tonight. Oh, thank you so much for having me. And uh, let's begin. What are the main elements in Hayley's character and the movie in general? that fascinates you the most and drew you to join Long Lost Christmas? I really enjoyed the family element. At the, the core of this movie is family finding, reconnecting and building. Um, but, you know, there's always a love story in Hallmark movies. But I really enjoyed the fact that this one had a family, a family, a heart and soul. So I like I like that a lot about it. Perfect. And uh, as we know quite well so far, Almac movies and shows always feature well-shaped and relatable characters. Where are you and Haley most similar and where most different as human beings? Um, I'd say that Haley and I are very similar in the fact that uh, we don't see problems <laughs> ahead <laughs> we just charge straight for the solution no holds bar not questioning a thing not really planned anything out just going full force which you know i think has a lot of heart and soul and a lot to be said for but um but ben's character is quite the opposite and needs a little bit more time and restraint and uh planning out um, but I love that they kind of come together and bring that out in each other. Um, just the best of both humans, um, you know, bringing out the best in each other. Uh, how are we dissimilar? I don't really know because she loves to, um, well, I guess she's a blogger. So she let, you know, loves to be on camera and I, and I do sometimes, so actually it has to do mostly most of the times when I'm on uh, camera doing these things, I've made, made up a fake TV show called um, uh, Taylor Made, where I go around and fix things in the house because I would love to, in a different life, be uh, <laughs> somebody who knows how to do everything that involves construction, but I don't. So I fake it and I think it's hysterical to record. And um, But I think just her being comfortable in that is is her skill and mine is being uncomfortable <laughs> in front of the camera. So we're similar, but very different. <laughs> okay. And uh, what's been the biggest challenge for you in portraying Haley? Uh, the biggest challenge, I mean, we had so much fun playing this role. I, it is a very serious topic because they are, uh, you know, finding family potentially that uh, have been separated for so long. So while that is a very serious topic and a lot of emotions are running through Haley, it was hard not to want to just jump into the rom-com of it all because it is funny and there are moments of levity and light and, uh, you know, all the, the moments with Ben, we kind of joked that we had two different movies going on. One was the Ben, <laughs> the um, movie with Ben Ayers and I, and then the other one was Finding Finding the Family, which I think is great. And I think uh, is more enjoyable to watch really. And in, in life in general, just bringing light and levity into a situation. You know, we're very complex people. We're not just one or the other. We can be serious when when the moment calls for it, but being yourself in the other moments is, is important as well good and uh, to all the fans uh, looking forward to watching the movie how would you describe long lost christmas in just uh, three words <laughs> heartwarming family gathering <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible i did not have uh those were three words i'm not sure those three words made uh, uh english sense <laughs> perfect what what can you tease about Haley's journey throughout the movie um Haley has 
a very, she, she grows a lot during this journey while it is actually a journey because she goes on a road trip to find, um, what could possibly be her family. She also has a journey of growth in herself, finding out that what she was doing for her mom and what she thought she really wanted to help out and, and, and create this new, uh, giving loving world for her mom was actually something that she needed for herself and, you know, possibly having a new cousin and a new love interest and an uncle and, and all these people have similar, you know, uh, uh, just, uh, they, they all love the same thing as far as furniture and design and, and all the elements are all coming together and it just is a beautiful thing. And she realizes it really means a lot to her as much as it does to, um, finding something for her mom. Great. And uh, talking about the environment on set, uh, how would you describe uh, your experience while filming a long lost Christmas? And uh, do you have any fun anecdotes to share? Oh, well, I, we had the most fun. <laughs> ben <laughs> Ayers is just uh, incredible. He's a wonderful human, a great father, and just a, a Uh, husband and all the things that, you know, you would want in a co-star. So he was just, he brought so much uh, levity into, um, into the moments that I think are going to be really enjoyable to watch. Um, he uh, also, we had, uh, my uncle was played by Grant. He is new to newer to Hallmark in this bigger role that you'll see him in, but he's so grounded. And, and the, the, the woman who plays my mom also, and, and my, and my cousin, everybody in, in the movie, you will just eat. They, everyone has a great, uh, character arc so you get to know everyone you get to know why they are who they are and what makes them tick and I think that that just makes for great storytelling and you really get to know everybody and you you're fighting for everybody in the end so I think it's beautifully written and I'm glad I got to play it great and uh, if you choose if you could choose any any other character from long lost Christmas apart from Ailey that you would have allowed to play? Which one would it be and why? <laughs> um, I would play Ben Ayers' part because I want to see him play Haley. That would be entertaining. <laughs> would you switch? <laughs> Great. And uh, did you take anything from set, any prop or a piece of costume to remember your experience as Haley? I took the book. <laughs> the, the author um Joan Kilby she signed it for me and she was so very sweet I think she has written a ton a ton of books so we'll probably see a lot more of her but um it was really sweet to meet her and um you know what I should have taken I should have taken uh one of the they, there are these funny Christmas hats which I feel like is the new ugly Christmas sweater, but they, when you squeeze them, the, the little ears move and they were really adorable. So I wish I would have taken that, but I did not. Um, we also were shooting in this town that had a, a thematic uh, uh, Sasquatch thing, like, you know, big monster. Um, and is that also a mythical creature and different? It, it has a whole story. I've read all about <laughs> Sasquatch. It's pretty incredible. But anyway, Ben got me a little Sasquatch with huge feet. God, I had it here, but I don't. But um, so I do have that as a memory uh, of our trip. So that was cute. <laughs> Perfect. And uh, bring back to the origins of your career, how did you the Did the passion for acting come about in your life? It was absolutely accidental. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, yeah, which, which is why I am so grateful to Hallmark because I was, you know, in this world of acting. I didn't know anything about it. I just kind of conveniently fell upon it. My mom was in LA. I was visiting her. I went on an audition and then I, I booked a TV show. I had no idea what I was doing. I didn't know why I was doing it. I'm sort of a perfectionist in a, 
just, I want to be, you know, I want to be at the right place doing what I'm meant to do and not be uh, sort of imposter syndrome. You know, I don't want to be taking any roles from anyone, but then when I found Hallmark, I realized this was my home. This is what I really wanted to do was just bring these light, good, warm hearted, lovely movies to fr- family and, uh, you know, people who just really want this content and the, the fans have just been so incredibly, um, accepting and just loving and grateful. So a hundred percent, the, I, I found the place where acting makes sense for me. <laughs> good. <laughs> Among uh, all the roles uh, you have had the chance to play throughout your career, is there any particular role uh, you're most fond of? Wow. I mean, all Hallmark movies are <laughs> really, really fun um, just because you've got that that rom-com. I, I love rom-coms. And before I was doing rom-coms, I was sort of uh, playing a a character that that uh like black ops or she was you know toting guns and very threatening very, I, i think i just have harsh features so i was always very harsh character which is complete opposite of me so playing hallmark movies has always been a relief but um i mean the event was an awesome show that I absolutely adored making. My first show, Summerland, was uh, incredible. I got to work with my stepdad and so many people came from that show. Um, Jesse McCartney, Zac Efron uh, was on it. Uh, you know, uh, Ryan Quanton from True Blood, um, Lori Laughlin, and just on and on. It was, it was a great uh, starting point for me. I learned a lot. <laughs> yes. And... Um... A question we made to all uh, the, the, the actor and the actress we, we interview. Uh, if you had to give some advice to people who wanted to pursue an acting career, which kind uh, would it be? Advice would be uh, take all of the experiences as a learning experience. Uh, experience there you, you will hear no over and over but instead of taking it as a personal doubt or personal uh, you know any sort of criticism take it more like I got an opportunity to go into that room and do what I love to do so everything is an opportunity and everything um uh, I just think that grateful m- mentality and that uh feeling like you're learning each time you walk into the room is going to aid in your your growth instead of stunt something that potentially could just really mess with your mind because it's <laughs> you know it, it can take a while so yeah keeping keeping your head up <laughs> perfect good and uh, that's it Remember that Long Lost Christmas will premiere November 19th only on Almac Movies and Mysteries. And thank you for being here with us, Taylor. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for following us. Bye. Bye.